Hello my family members, if you are preparing for Accenture, TCS or any corporate IT sector, then Java MCQ is very important. That's why today I brought some common and most asked MCQ questions from Java, which were already asked in any drive. So without delay, let's go. First question is, how does applet and servlet communicate in Java? Through HTTPS, HTTP tunneling, HTTP or FTP. This was asked in uh, the last Accenture of Campus Drive. Right, so the answer will be HTTP tunneling. And I have already solved this question in the earlier uh, video, right? So I'm not, I'm not explaining. The next question is, what does not prevent JVM from terminating? What is the answer from this? If you can solve, then please give me the answer in the comment section, right? Okay, I'm answering. The answer will be demonstrate, right? Well, the next question is which class loader loads jar files from JDK directory system heap bootstrap or extension actually the answer will be extension right extensions loads jar files from lib or ext directory of jre this gives the basic functionality available right okay the next question is which two statements produce the same result in java Look at here carefully, these are the options and you have to choose among them. Which two statements produce the same result? Actually, it's this and this. The signed operator and the unsigned operator. The right shift operator, right? Uh, so, the answer will be 2 and 4. Actually, the th this operator actually performs a signed right shift. It shifts the bits to the right and fills the leftmost left, left position with the original sign. And this operator performs an unsigned right shift. It shifts the bit to the right and fills the leftmost position with zeros regardless of the uh, original sign bit, right? Okay, the next question is, which of these are type of multitasking? Process-based multitasking, Thread-based multitasking, process and thread-based multitasking or none of the mentioned. What will be the answer among them? Actually, there are two types of multitasking. That is process-based multitasking and uh, thread-based multitasking, right? So, the C will be answered. Okay, the next question is, what does AWT stands for? All window tools, all writing tools, abstract writing toolkit or abstract window toolkit toolkit what will be the answer the answer will be abstract window toolkit right sorry abstract window toolkit right it is used by applets to interact with the user right okay the next question is in cgi process starts with each request and will initiate os level process is it true or false or depends on the situation or cannot be predicted what will be the answer? The answer will be true, right? Actually, a new process is started with each client request and that corresponds to initiate a heavy OS level process for each client request, right? Okay, the next question is a quiz for you. Which of these is a wrapper from for data type int in Java? What will be the answer of among them? Integer double byte or long? Please give me the answer in the comment section, right? Okay, the next question is also for you and you have to answer this, right? JVM stands for Java Virtual Memory, Java Virtual Machine, Java Virtual Mechanism, Java Virtual Management. Which will be the answer? Please give me the answer, right? From where the break statements causes an exit? Only from internmost loop, only from internmost switch or terminates a program or from internmost loops or switch. What will be the answer? Okay, I'm answering the answer will be from internmost loops or switches, right? Okay, I'm going to the next question that is Standard output variable out is defined in which class in Java? System, via void, process or runtime? 
the answer will be actually you know a standard output variable out is static member of system class right and uh, there is another class called print stream the method the print ln or print the method is actually defined in another class called print stream right and the out is actually a uh, member static member of system class right okay the next question is which class provides system independent server side implementation in java server socket socket server or server reader what will be the answer the answer will be server socket right server socket uh, is a java.net class uh, which actually provides system independent implementation in java right the next question is which of these methods is a part of abstract window toolkit awt draw string paint display or transient what will be the answer the answer will be paint right okay i am not explaining this is very easy question right the next question is what is an event in delegation event model used by java programming language what will be the answer actually an event is an object that describes a stage change in source right this is the answer the next question is what does bind method of server socket offer uh, binds the server socket to a specific address binds the server and client browser or binds the port to the jvm or the rest what will be the answer the answer will be binds the server socket to a specific address ip address and port right okay the next quiz uh, is also a quiz question you have to answer that right which of the following is advantage of using prepared statement in java encourages sql injection slow performance more memory usage or prevents sql injection please give me the all answers uh, that was quiz question for you and if you think that i should make more videos such that and um, if, if you want any type of uh, video then please recommend me I will obviously make this right. Thank you for today's session.